Welcome into Extra Time. I trust everyone had a good Christmas day. Very Shaka, good. Any, any nice presents or anything? I got some new beads. Oh, lovely. Who got some, you those? Some friends of ours from South Africa. Nice. Yeah. Just to add to my bead yeah, collection. Yeah, it's quite a, quite a collection that's growing there. Yes, yes. Stevie doesn't have any beads, surprisingly. No, no. Yeah. Mm. no, no Did you get anything for Christmas? You're not a big Christmas person. No, I didn't even get any months. What? Oh, no. Why, what did you have yesterday to eat? Yesterday yes. I had um, roast beef, uh, Yorkshire puddings and wow. roast potatoes. Wow. wow. So 364 <laughs> days of yeah. 2019, you have mince. Yeah. And then Christmas uh, Day, you go with your roast beef. I was uh, a little disappointed. After uh, that. Gab, how was your Christmas? <laughs> you get any nice presents? I did. It might seem mundane to, to some, but oh. what I really wanted was uh, one of those uh, uh, transparent lids that, that fits over the larger saucepan so I can uh, I can monitor my cooking. I can I can sort of steam it and uh, uh, while I have the lid on. So I was extremely grateful well, that uh, uh, Santa got me you that. You were right, Gab. You were right. <laughs> Merry that was Christmas. very mundane. I know. <laughs> Easily pleased. Right then. Can someone call and ask Craig if he still thinks Leicester is a serious contender for Liverpool this season? <laughs> I'm staying out of that. He's, he's in England at the moment, so unfortunately... Let Gab call him. Mm? I'd love to hear that conversation between Gab and Craig. Oh, dear. He wasn't serious. Who is better? I'm going to ask Gab this one. Who is better, Gab, Stevie or Trent Alexander-Arnold? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I think Trent Alexander-Arnold probably gets around the pitch a little bit quicker uh, than Stevie, given that Stevie, if memory serves, was born on December 1st, 1961, is that right? That's 11th, 1961. Oh, 11th, there mm -hmm. you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. It, that's, that was it. You're old. Oh. Oh, I thought, I thought <laughs> there was going to be some sort of context. <laughs> oh, football was different back then. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, look. I, I, I'll, I'll tell you this. And look, Stevie was a, a little bit before my time. I only got Stevie at, at the end uh, of his career. But... Stevie was obviously a very versatile player. Um, and as we discussed on the show, I see the Trent Alexander-Arnold as a guy playing fullback uh, who's really a midfielder because that's what he was raised at. And he interprets the position in the same way. And he could easily play in a whole range of midfield positions. Um, and that was something that, that Stevie did as well. Now, he'll probably be bashful and, uh, you know, he'll probably be all modest about it and, and you'll probably disagree with, with the parallel uh, that I set out. But, um, you know, in that way, and the fact they both played for Liverpool, um, they're, they, they certainly have more than one thing in common. Stevie better. Hold your horses. But does Trent Alexander-Arnold eat mince every day? And did he, did he have three pints of Coke before he went out? <laughs> That's a big yeah. question. Uh, who is better in defence splitting passes? Kevin De Bruyne or Trent Alexander-Arnold? Kevin De Bruyne. In defence, but in passes? Oof, I got a broiler. Well, Steve's got this itch. It's really annoying. How do you think I feel, though? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's annoying you. I'm the one that's itchy. <laughs> Should have got some cream for Christmas. I know. Right. <laughs> I'll get some on the way home, all oh, right? Yeah, I think you need to. Hi. Scratching your leg all day. <laughs> I've got bites. <laughs> Where do you get bites at this time of year? Well, they're, they're, they're a hangover from the end of the golf season. Right. I just you, keep you, scratching at You still have bites from the end of the golf season? I do, I. Well, I didn't take care of them when, when, I, when I got so them. I just septic, had to go away. Septic. Septic. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking about it. Uh, I'm going to turn, <laughs> turn up in January with one leg or something. <laughs> Stevie, is Liverpool too good to bottle the title again? Yes. Yes. Stevie, how concerning is Salah losing the ball and off the target shots in the font is becoming for Liverpool in the front? You know what? It's a strange thing, right? Because it is concerning. You know what? It's not affecting it's not affecting the way they play, it's not affecting the results of the games. So it is happening. But while they're winning, then if I was caught, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it. Our, our is, our 48 hours is 48 hours, is 48 hours enough time to recover and play again? 
Not if you want to play properly, 100%, no. You, you're clearly able to play, but you're, you're not going, your endurance is not going to be as good. You know, your speed probably won't be as good. So, well, you, you can't play the way you would normally play. And that's why, and that's why over the years, you've had some funny results in, over the yeah. Christmas period, because the better sides who are not quite as strong and not quite as quick, it gives the, the lesser teams an advantage. Right. It's a level. Tracker, does it matter for goalkeepers? Because you don't do as much yeah, we're the running hardest around. Work. We're the hardest workers on the pitch. I keep telling you that. But when it comes to recovery? Well, we're just very good at recovering, that's all. <laughs> it's not our fault <laughs> that we're very good at recovering. You don't have to do as much, then. No? Running around? No. Not as much running around. It's concentration, the one. It's a different mental, type. Mental, it's a different type mental. of fitness. It's anaerobic, our fitness. Oh. Today's word of the day. Mm. Anaerobic. Does Gab think Eagles could beat the Giants this Sunday? Ooh. Oh, man. Ooh. I hope so. Uh, no, no, no. Let me make this very simple. They have to beat the Giants. Uh, th th this is not a debate about, about <laughs> anything. Oh, damn. Um, we take it for granted that oh. we will beat the Giants and that the whole point of beating the Cowboys, you know, it would all be rendered irrelevant if we didn't go and stomp all over the Giants and, and Eli. So I'm not even going to entertain any kind of possibility here because that would be the cruelest thing imaginable. Eli's not even playing Gav. Enough of your anti-Eli ways. It doesn't matter. It's still Eli Manning's team. It's still the Giants. Well, whether it's Eli, whether it's the other guy, whatever. It, it's not about the Giants. We have to beat the Giants because everything was predicated upon beating the Cowboys and that will be rendered irrelevant if we beat the Giants and the Cowboys somehow win their last game. So, how, how not we, an issue for me. How do you know Not Eli's contemplating not this. Because Daniel Jones is playing. So did Daniel Jones play the last game? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah, he, scored, he threw, what, five touchdowns? He threw? He threw five touchdowns. All right. I'll take your word for it. Oh, there you are, Stephen. Good. Just, I, know, I, know, I know Eli played yeah. recently, that's all. Yeah. You didn't know, really. You did didn't you? know. You didn't I think know. you were just trying to catch me out in the end. Yeah, in the, end, wins. in the end, you're far too clever for me. Well, I'm Ooh. clever enough to buy some cream on my yeah. insect bites I've had too much. Yeah. <laughs> on your septic bites? <laughs> uh, uh, that is it. Thank you very much. That? Oh, uh, is that right? That's good. Oh, is there one more question? Is there? Oh, goodness. Uh, will Shaka follow me back in Twitter? Hey. Huh? Will you follow this you person still on back Twitter? on Twitter? No, I haven't, I haven't logged on to Twitter. Over here, October 2018. That was it? That's Amazon. when you, oh. you left Twitter? Mm -hmm. You left slightly before that, didn't you, Stevie? Aye. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> what, what do you want me to say? I don't know. You want to say something? go through a whole spiel? Why and all that nonsense? No, not really. Sorry, Chris. Right, well, don't ask the question, then. I have to ask the question. Hey, go and get me some cream. <laughs> My apologies, Chris Z. <laughs> Look, he's doing it again! Oh, ESPN yeah. he is back tomorrow. <laughs> uh, hopefully, Jules, Jules hopefully will Stevie us. will be here. Gab will be with us for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.